Hi guys, welcome to Code Android. Hey, what's up everyone? So, in advance, a very happy new year and also Merry Christmas and belated. Well, today we're starting a very new topic of our series of the Flutter tutorial for beginners. And uh, as you already know, my channel has other videos that I've made for Android as well. So if you have not seen my other videos, do check in the, uh, the other series. I'll put the link in the description below and uh, you will uh, be able to know all about Kotlin, uh, all about MVVM, the architectures of Android that we use. Also, a lot of projects that I've made and a lot of things I've taught in the tutorials as a beginner from scratch. So today we're starting this Flutter tutorial. So Flutter is basically a Dart programming. Dart is a language by Google. So let's quickly jump uh, how to install this Flutter to your system. So first of all, open your Google Chrome and uh, type in flutter and we'll just go for the SDK first. So flutter SDK now Here if you see there is a site called download flutter SDK the first one that is the from the flutter dev the official website click this link and From here you will be able to see all the things that flutter can do so all the awesome UI widgets so in Android as we mentioned the elements and the UI's views here in Flutter will be mentioning as widgets each element is a widget and uh, Like that we'll be building more awesome applications in this series. So for the SDK just scroll down and click on the SDK for the flat for the developers so flutter for developers and here you will find the SDK link I also paste the link in the description below if you are uh, you can just download it from there so uh, you can go to uh, mobile and like uh, desktop like multi-platform flutter on west so there are a lot of uh, other facilities for so flutter is like a multi-platform so if you can download it like uh, once you do uh, do the deploy in the application it will be always done for both android and ios so there is a bridge that is been covered with the flutter so you don't need to extremely learn Swift in this. You can directly learn that. So now um, uh, let's quickly download our SDK. So just type here the SDK. And here you can just uh, search it. So just click on get started and just click on this windows so if you are on mac you can click on this on linux and on chrome os so all the four versions so you can click on the windows and you can type choose your first application so mobile obviously you're going to mobile now if you want to check the requirements that you need basically for your flutter so minimum is like four cores and one recommender is eight cores memory in gb is like eight recommended 16 and uh, display resolution can be like 1920 into 1080 full hd and the uh, one that is minimum it is like a wxga that is a uh, limited medium density pixel free disk space you need like 10 gigs of both spaces for both systems now uh, for operating systems you can use Android studio as well uh, or I can use like VS code. So I'll be using VS code in this uh, tutorial series uh, You can download the VS code directly from here And you can get the extension for the flutter for the VS code here I'll also explain you how you get the flutter extension from VS code. So let's first download the SDK So here just install the flutter SDK. So click on download and install and click on this link so once you've done that your SDK will be downloaded. I've already downloaded it in my site so I'll just tell you to go to that path. So once you have downloaded, uh, you have to just browse to that uh, path where you have downloaded it. So in my side, it's like here, so Flutter SDK. So this is the uh, Flutter uh, folder that you will get after extraction. So you have to click that, open this, and if you see, there are these enough files for the SDK. So what you would do is go to the bin folder that is here and copy the entire path from here. So it's like, you can be like, anything the path here can be c for you for me it's f flutter sdk flutter bin so copy the entire path Control c and now you have to go to your system settings so right click on your windows and go to your uh, system 
and go to your advanced system settings so just go to your advanced system settings here and here you have to go to your environment variables and here you have to mention the path so uh, for me i've already added the path here so if you click on here click on edit you can see the flutter bin is already added if you for you it cannot be it will not be there so click on new and you can add the path that i just copied and once you've done that click on ok and click on ok again so once you have done that you can just uh, open your visual studio so your visual studio will look like this now uh, on here you have to just uh, go to your file and preferences extensions here in extensions you can just type it like flutter and you'll be getting the flutter extension the first one you have to install this once you install that you have to made it uh, like restart the ide once again so once you restarted the ide you can go to your file explorer so here we need to create a new app right so first of all i'll tell you what is dart so let's open our dart documentation so that's the official dart documentation dart.dev i'll also put a link in the description for this now here if you see dart is always a widget so the it is like a c so uh, anything which is like c language it's dart so it's made by google and is quite uh, flexible with other approaches with other uh, languages like it can support multi uh, platform it can have a lot of libraries which is supporting this now uh, mostly on dart if you see like there is a dart pad here in free so it's like a void main so it's similar to c so if you see here like a void main and you have headers so we import dart with like import dart so we keep like put dart uh, dot io so something like this and uh, we also do all these imports like this so now uh, once you are done this once you have familiar with dart so you have to just learn through the basic commands which is like introduction to dart you can just go over this i'll put a link again in the description for this you can go over this like how to write a hello world how to write variables how to write uh, the control flow statements and also how to write functions in dart so it's quite simple if you see it's like similar to python again so it's like a ninja coding if you see uh it's doesn't have much lines of code it runs on uh, like a single line and it executes that quite it's interesting uh like if you see compared to other uh libraries other uh, of languages which you have already learned in your uh like career like similar to java like java again like has a lot of uh, lines of code so compared to kotlin also it's quite faster now what flutter does is it uses aot compiler so what's the aot compiler so aot compilation is similar to like ahead of time now what is like i mean by ahead of time it's like once it compiles it doesn't wait for the next argument it shows you whatever is going to happen in the future so if you're clicking a button and you want to execute some uh, command and show an image so it will get you to till the last part of the code and it will not wait for the click to occur so something like that now uh, in your vs code to create a new project here you have to type this control shift p and you have to type flutter new project okay and here you can just get through a few of the options so for this i'll just go for empty application which is doesn't have much of this so just click on empty application and you have to keep the folder which you want to create so for me i am using this folder and i'll just uh, give new folder click flutter app and here i'll just click that and select the folder to create the project and you can give the name of the application so for example uh, our so you can write like all uh, small cases because it doesn't accept the our first flutter app okay now let it build and once it is built so you will see the progress here on the down so flutter will create all the templates for you you see here the android and ios packages are getting loaded and also 
the interesting part is uh, here we will have the pubspec.yaml file now what is this pubspec.yaml file so this is basically the libraries that we'll be uh, having inside the dependencies so if you see here our name and description of the project publish to and version is already done it's auto generated again the environment sdk is also been auto generated so the sdk for the flutter is like from greater than 3.1 less than 4. Point. so it's something between 3 to 4. so that is like the sdk that we are using the latest sdk and then again the dependencies are flutter sdk dev dependencies flutter test sdk flutter lints are given as 2.0 that is like version 2 and flutter uses uses material design so that is the interesting part so it uses a material design in your project any other dependencies you need to add you have to add here with this dependencies lines again here we have android folder we have ios folder so the one who is having the ios like knowledge you are having a swift knowledge you can understand what is this runner what is this uh runner test and uh flutter have this app framework again but in android if you know like you have an app folder you have a source debug main profile in main you have java you have kotlin res res holds the all the drawables and that is the basically the structure what we'll be doing the coding is not inside this android and ios we'll be doing inside lib and lib will hold the main dot dart so this is our entry point of the application when in the app you have to create any other uh, classes we have to create inside this lib folder so you have to create like new file and you can give like home page dot dart okay so it'll create one more home page dot dart file for you and you can do the coding here okay sweet so come back to your uh, earlier application so here we have this uh, import package flutter material dot so it imports the material libraries and then it auto generates this code for us void main it runs the app from this so this is the entry point of execution run app what run app does it it triggers the main application and it goes inside this now i'll not go deep into it uh, in this first lecture i'll make it short and crisp for you for you to understand and go through and and play with the documentations and with the widgets uh, in the next lecture i'll explain you how we can uh, understand these codes and how we can design our first application and a small application so i'll not go into entire series for this uh, lectures now i'll may i'll post small small applications each of the videos so that you can understand more better in a more short manner so i'll not extend my videos so long okay so uh, that's all for today and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this lecture if you do do like don't forget to like share subscribe as always and uh, don't forget to press the notification bell as well again see you in the next side see you